Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today, continuing with the 10 C's of Dave Canterbury, we're going to talk about cargo tape. Now down here in the south, we call it duct tape. And there used to be, when I was a young man, there was a U.S. Army issue, sometimes called 100 mile an hour tape, because apparently they claimed that it could hold on at, even with a 100 mile an hour wind. I just remember that tape being so strong that once you stuck it, you didn't pull it off. You'd break something or pull the hide off trying to get it off. I'm look, I like Gorilla Brand tape. Now, there's other brands out there, but it's a very strong, durable, sturdy tape. Now, let's look at the uses, okay? Why was this included in the 10 Cs? Well, most people today are coming from an urban environment. And so if you're coming from an urban environment, the common things that you hear, ways to fix things, are duct tape, super glue, um, things like that, electrical tape, etc. And there's an old joke down here in the south that says, if duct tape can't fix it, you have an electrical problem because it'll fix just about anything else. And as a repair, it's absolutely something we need in a kit because this does something that's very, very difficult to create in the wild, and that is make something that adheres by sheer adhesive, grip solid, can take a little bit of a wetting, can take a little bit of abuse, and yet hold on and do its job. It allows me to secure things together quickly and solidly where it locks together with that adhesive and will stay there. Weaknesses of duct tape, heat. On very hot, humid, wet days, that adhesive will get soft and you can actually peel it off some. Not so much in the winter, but definitely here in my south, at the height of summer, if you try to stick something and put it up on the dash of your truck, it'll come right off like it's wet in a couple hours because it can't take that, that adhesive will actually melt. So that's a weakness of it. But it isn't an automatically let go. I'll say it loses like 40, 45% of its sticking ability. But this is the number one choice for patching a hole in a tarp quickly. Now that's something that's really hard to do in the field. You're, you're counting all your eggs in this basket of this tarp, this expensive tarp. And you're out here in the middle of nowhere and that limb spears it. And now you got a pinky size or a thumb size hole right through the middle of your nice pretty tarp that it's going to pour water no matter what you do. Duct tape. Cargo tape. Put a piece on the inside, a piece on the outside, press them real good, rub them together. It'll be fine till you can get home or it may be a permanent fix. I've got a lot of my military type tarps like that. That what I do when I find one surplus is I'll get out and it looks kind of dumb, but hey, dumb if it looks stupid but it works it isn't stupid I throw it up over my head and I look from the inside out to look for pinholes and light tiny little pinholes not a big deal but if I start seeing a lot I'll pass on that surplus tarp and get another one but the one's got okay there's a hole there's a hole not too bad say four or five holes yeah I'm good with it fifteen dollars military tarp picked it up two-sided and then I just take a small piece of duct tape, like a one inch square, and I patch a hole. And it's good. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Duct tape comes in colors, if you're color sensitive. They even make it in bright orange. But I normally carry black. It just seems to be something I gravitate to. And where I'm at, Gorilla duct tape is really good. Now, patching holes and things like that. What can you create with duct tape? Oh, brother, uh, I don't know if they still do it, but I know for many, many years, the company that produced duct tape used to have a challenge every year, a contest, where you would send them in pictures of things that you created with duct tape, and the winner got a scholarship or something. I remember the uh, a few years ago where it was a, a, a young man and his girlfriend who went to the prom, he made a full tuxedo and she made a full dress out of duct tape in color. It was pretty impressive what they had done. 
It was an artistic thing. I probably weighed 50 pounds. But they won this $10,000, I think it was, scholarship because what they could create with duct tape. Um, Dave Canterbury at his school has demonstrated making water carriers out of duct tape, sticking it into itself. That's a viable idea. Um, I don't carry that much duct tape in the field. Okay, and I'll show you in a moment what rides in the Blackbird Haversack me. I do want to supply duct tape. And as we've already talked about with the cutting needle, I mean, excuse me, the sail needle, putting it inside of a drinking straw and then taping that to the back of a sheath with duct tape will be there. And so when I peel it, I can get it out of that straw tube without the needle being sticky because then I got to rub that glue off. And this is good glue, so it makes it hard to pull through stuff because of the glue. So, yeah, that's going to be that way. But I'm only going to carry a roll like this in my truck in my big thing. Now, if we're going on a two-week expedition by canoe, absolutely. I've got conveyance. I'll carry a whole roll of it because they may be something I need. And I need it in a hurry. Patch a hole in a canoe. Patch a hole in an inflatable. Somebody's air mattress got a hole in it. You know, somebody's tarp has got a hole in it. You know, it comes in very handy. Hole in a canteen. I've had that before where something got sat down very hard and a very sharp hardwood little stick harpooned into a bladder canteen. A little duct tape, held it till we got home where I can either replace or permanently repair. So let me show you what I carry in the flap of the Blackbird. Up here in my top pocket. Amongst my cordage and everything else, I carry There it is. That. Show you up close in a moment. Now, sometimes I have carried the little one inch rolls, one inch wide rolls. And those can be very good. This repair spool by Exotech is what I carry. There's me a supply of good duct tape. There is sewing thread and sewing needle and fishing line in that. I've got some fish hooks in there. I've got my sewing thread right there that I can also use for fishing line. And the unscrew There's my big eye sewing needle and down in that hole is a couple of little small, small hooks. And one or two split shot, I think. So therefore, I have my repair. Now this is an Exotech repair. Okay? And I'll try to remember to put the link of where to go get it. Either in the video or down in the description box. But this is what I carry with me. It's light enough, it's handy enough, it's enough tape to handle what I'm doing. Probably about 10 feet. And that will handle me patching up all those little holes. It'll handle me patching up all my gear when I need to. First aid. This is a pressure bandage. Now, for those of you that haven't been around a lot of injuries, let me explain a little bit. If I cut pretty deeply with a knife, remember I got razor sharp WC knives. If I cut pretty deeply, into there where it's more than just sur superficial skin. I've cut muscle. I have to hold this tight together because naturally it just wants to open up. If you've ever cut up steaks or whatever, you know what I mean. Once you slice, it just kind of, the tension makes it want to flare out, butterfly out. So I've got to hold this together, okay? Duct tape can act as a butterfly bandage. Now I do not, if I have the choice, okay? I do not want to physically stick the duct tape directly onto the wound because that's going to cause problems for the emergency room to fix it. But if it's life and death, it's just going to be a tough day for the doc. I'm not going to stand there and watch you bleed to death. 
I'm going to seal that wound up one way or the other. If I have to put a tourniquet up here to cut the flow of blood down here and then to pull the meat together, I'm going to use duct tape. Wipe off as much as I can, stick it solidly up here to the skin, and then push the two ends together and roll it over. And then on the outside, go around and seize that up. That holds the two people and it holds a pressure bandage. Because what do you have for a pressure bandage? Well, I have a bandana I can pull tight, but this I can stick it tight. It'll stick to itself and allow me to pull tension to reduce the bleeding. Now I can elevate the wound, put a tourniquet up here if I got to, and get you out or get me out and buy time. So there's a first aid device. This really is my more self-aid. Um, I carry a few small band-aids in my kit because usually it's the small little cuts that drive you nuts. If it's a big cut, something that would require stitches, it's going to be the wound is going to be cleaned off as best as possible. Then the wound is going to be sealed up as well as possible, and then I'm transporting out to medical attention if at all possible. That's the thing. So this can be a lifesaver, not just as a construction tool but also is a first aid tool. It is a repair tool for my tarp, for my air mattress, for my canteen, for making something whole shut. The adhesive in duct tape, or cargo tape, is flammable, so it's a fire starter as well. If it's been raining and man, I can't find any tinner nowhere. I can find kindling, and I just ain't got the time to shave it down or whatever. I can take this tape and rip it into strips, and it'll just fiber out. Make a bird's nest of that and set it on fire, and it'll burn quite hot and everything and get something going. So it's also a fire starter. So it's a first aid tool, it's a repair tool, it's a fire starting tool. It does a job that I can't easily do in the field, something that just sticks and stays there. See, that's the big advantage. It may be really tough to take pine rosin and bark and patch a tent, a patch a tarp, and get it to hold through an entire trip. Without the minute I move it, it coming loose. It'd be really difficult, although pine sap, and I know somebody's gonna say this, when I was a kid, you'd get a boo-boo or a cut or something, and Granddad would go up and take a young pine tree and shave that or bark off, cut the bark, pull it off, let the sap run a minute, then take the pine rods and sap and put on the wound like a um, like a salve, and then he'd stick that piece of bark over like a band-aid, and it'd stick to you. And that was to hold you till you got home to keep the dirt out of it. Now, I don't recommend that today, but we did such things back in the day. Duct tape is just quick, clean, and easy. And this Exotech is how I carry my supply in my haversack, in my Blackbird. The roll of duct tape stays in the vehicle, or stays in the big bags, for when I need a big repair of some kind. And that's later on. Hope this uh, makes you think a little bit, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button to feed the algorithm for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. And down below, please include your questions and comments for future videos. I'll be happy to answer you as best I can. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.